Hello. What are your feelings after that? Does it feel like, um, or can you just talk to your last minutes from, from your point of view? Yeah, I, well, with 10 minutes to go, I, I didn't see the game unfolding like that. But international rugby throws things at you that you don't expect sometimes. Um, you know, I thought we we did some, we dominated large parts of the game. But I suppose when they had their small purple patches, they they scored. I think you know when we're 14 points up and we concede that try, it, it just changes the game again. And uh, we just need to be better there. We we had a kick off receive we didn't deal well with. We had a line out that we didn't deal well with, and then we. Missed, missed a tackle that uh, we should have done better. So, you know, t as good as team as Scotland are, we, we have to look at ourselves first and foremost. And I need to improve because if you have a 14 point lead in international rugby, you need to, you know, th the next moment is the most important one. And, and you can finish the game, not finish the game, but you can, you know, put a put a statement down by, by you know, top teams. I think and that's they take the kick off, they clear their lines and, and then they put pressure on again. That We're just short of that at the moment. We'd have to ask, you know, everyone in the team. Like, you know, we're obviously we rely on each other, but it's it's asking each other at that moment. You know, what was what was your thoughts? What was your process? What was, you know, why did you make the mistake? Why, you know what I mean? So we, we need to figure all these things out together. Sometimes it can just be a, an error. You know what I mean? And, and that's team sport. And uh, but we've talked about, you know, keeping each other in the moment more by communicating better and and by, you know, talking. Realizing that the moment in front is the most important, you know, not getting lost in the past. And I thought we, when we got that second try to go 14 up, we, we, we just lost concentration for a few moments. I was brilliant by uh, Ryan Baird, wasn't it? Like to to get the the charge down. Um, he's so explosive, first couple of steps, um, and then to to make the tackle that he does, which allows I don't even know who got who got on the poach. Uh, Ian Henderson was outstanding as well, so for him to get on the poach and um, obviously then it's you, you know you got to have to kick it. I uh, kicked kicked pretty well uh, all game. It wasn't my my best of the day. My best of the day probably hit the post, um, but it was uh, it was enough. I was trying to keep it just a little bit lower. With it was quite blustery in the stadium, um, and uh, but it was it was a good enough strike to to get over. And uh, thankfully we get the. The four points, which is which is very important, and we're up to second now. So, big end to the tournament next week. Thanks. Hey Johnny, can you just tell us what was said under the post after Hamish Watson's try? What what was the message? I mean, it, it might have been, it must have been a bit of a shock to the system to lose fourteen points like that so close to the end. But what was said there um, after that try? Um, it's again just just to win, win everyone do their job and win the next moment. You know we. We conceded points to Wales in a similar fashion, you know, two tries after half time, which which changed the game totally, and, and similar kind of, you know, us not, you know, exiting well enough, missing missing tackle, um, you know, at international rugby, you need teams to work incredibly hard. I think Scotland did that for their second try, um, but the first one was was a a, a sucker punch. But um, anyway, we we're delighted with the win. It's a very tough place to come where we feel they're top. Team Scotland and and they've shown that with some of the results over the last while and performances and um, we'll take a win here any day of the week. Have you spoken to Paul O'Connell yet? Just looking at some of his line out stats, he disrupted um, six of eight line out throws by Scotland, which really helped you to, to, to gain dominance in that in the game. Yeah, the forwards have been outstanding um, for the last four games. You know what I mean? Um, and they did a great job tonight. I think what we did with that ball at times wasn't good enough some of the turnover ball um you know you want to make that your best source of possession and we we turned the ball over straight straight uh, straight away at times um which is frustrating because it's something that we've been working on really hard um so we'll look at that we'll look at the video and like i said there's there's plenty to get better at has he made a, a noticeable difference from your point of view um from his paul's impact on the forward so far yeah, it's pretty clear, isn't it? Like um, the impact that he's had. Obviously, we played against Wales with with seven forwards, but the lads were still outstanding. And um, it's not just his work around the line out. Um, it's it's his presence around all parts of the game and and the rook. And 
um, the the line running that the forwards do that fouls and, and Paulie work really hard with the forwards. You saw some of that today where they were tipping the ball on, punching really well into holes and it's just what we do after that is um, is what we need to just get better at. Thanks Johnny, enjoy that mate. Johnny, you know, you know all about beating England in Dublin. Um, have you seen enough evidence now in the last few weeks that you are ready for to put in like a, the kind of performance that's needed to win that game? Um, well, we'll find out next Saturday, won't we? Uh, we, we feel um, that we've been building. We feel that you know parts of our we 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 feel we were a little bit unlucky in the first couple of games, but we're playing against you know even though they've had a couple of bad results, you know the team that was in a World Cup final, the team that won the Grand Slam last year, uh, or Six Nations last year, the team won the Autumn Nations Cup, so they're a top top team, um, and we have to prove that we we can match them and. Um, and put in a performance to beat one of the top teams because we haven't we haven't done it as of yet. Hi, Danny. Uh, uh, how will you approach this week in terms of the messages to the players? Will you focus more on the fact that you were 14 points up and you ended up in a position where you needed this unbelievable character and a big play from two of your, your forwards and then your own ball to kick the penalty? Like, what's the, is, is the positive of, of rescue in this situation or is it the kind of worry of not being able to manage that situation when you're 14 points up. Uh, we'll, we'll review the game like we review, you know, there's never one tone to the review. Like, there's always things that you want to get better at. There's always things that you need to improve. And um, sometimes the frustrating thing is when you're, you're making the same mistakes that we've highlighted over the first few weeks. So that's the, that's the frustrating part. But we'll, we'll look at the good things. We'll look at the bad things. We'll look at, you know, when we're 14 points up, what we can do better. Um, yeah, and the, it won't be one tone to the to the review. It'll be, it'll be, you know, show the good things and the bad things like we always do. Okay, guys, thanks, Johnny. We're gonna have to bring you in, Andy, now. Cheers. Thanks, lads. <clears throat> How are we doing? Andy. Hi there. Could you sum up your your sense of that Ireland performance? Um, I suppose my overriding feeling is is is, is one of pride, really. Um, I thought, uh, you know, when things were um, not quite going the way at the at the, at the business end of the uh, of the game, um, you know, it's, it's the last ten minutes is where it could have been won and lost. You know, to um, to come back from a few a few slip ups, error wise, etc. Um, from the from the restart and the line out and defensively let, let things slip a little bit. Uh, and then to defend your own line like we did um, time and time again, just knocking them back, getting back off the floor. And, and obviously they, they, they got the seven points to draw the game. It, it would take down a few teams mentally, um, but they, they stayed together, you know, they, they refocused, they regrouped, great kickoff, good chase. Good pressure, and, and and they stayed next moment focus, and uh, we got the turnover, and you know big game players. That's that's what they do. They they, they take responsibility, and uh, Johnny put over the points. So so we'll pick it apart like we always do. Uh, there's, there's plenty to work on, as uh, as always. Um, uh, but one of pride. Why? Because everyone knows Scotland are a good tide, and uh, nobody finds it. Um, um, uh, easy coming here and, and, and getting get away with a victory. Never mind with the, with the form that they've been in. So, um, you know, I've been here plenty of times and struggled with 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 most teams that we've been up here with. Um, so, really proud to get the win. Really proud in the way that we started the game and ended the game. But obviously, there's things to to work on. Yeah. Johnny referenced a kind of string of errors when they got back to 24 all. Why do you think that's happening when you got in such a strong position? Well, look, I mean. I thought uh, sometimes it's just an error of judgment, isn't it? And sometimes you, you you take a gamble where you leave the you, you leave the kick. You think it's going uh, into touch, and um, and uh, and so did the touch judge as well. But uh, the TMO brought that back, and I suppose right rightly so. But and then there's a, a other ones that obviously compounded the, the errors, then give them back access. So so the, um, <coughs> I suppose. You know, did did we did we compound the errors, or, or, or are those errors in isolation? I suppose we'll have to look at that because, as I said, we I thought we defended pretty well, 
um, throughout the game, other than one or two slip ups that give them that give them big access. And I suppose that's that's the international game, isn't it? Um, you know, you miss a tackle, you seven points under your paws. Um, again, we'll we'll sit down with with James, and obviously um, there's um, there's there's others as well that we need to sit down with and, and keep educating them regarding um, uh, what international football is all about. There's the, the, there are guys that are in there that are very young as far as their experience is concerned, but to come up here. Uh, for anyone to come over here, uh, over here, and experience a win at Murrayfield is something that they'll be proud of. I'm sure they'll look back on. But as far as um, progressing uh, James's game, I suppose we'll 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 help him like we'll help uh, everyone else as well. Thanks. Hi, Andy. Can I just ask um, why you didn't bring Conor Murray on? We um, <coughs> we had we, we had quite a few knocks and uh, um, ifs and buts uh, that were on the field. Uh, two or three lads that were hanging on in there, and sometimes you if, you if you make a change to a fit player, then you can come unstuck, you know. So we we was it's the way it goes from time to time, and it's the same with Billy as well. Uh, can I just ask you about the impact that Paul Connell's had in the group so far? What have been like to work with, and whether even Well, look, he's been top class. That's that's why we, we we brought him in. You know, I've known Paul for for quite some time now. I know how serious he is about his rugby, and everyone else does. So, um, uh, I suppose this is his, his his first time, obviously, at international rugby. He's 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 still learning the ropes and and doing a, a fantastic job at the same time, which is all credit to him. His work ethic and his knowledge, etc., and how he how he is with the boys. Um, but what I would say is. Paul would be the first person to acknowledge um, uh, the work that Simon Easterbit had done uh, coming um, when Paul came in. Uh, Paul's um, been on record during the week saying uh, that he's he's um, he's been happy to facilitate some of the stuff that's already there, and he'll also I'm sure he'll be out in the week. He'll also be the first to say regarding the uh, defensive lineout. It's the ownership that, of the players that matter, and they have drove that side of the line out um, um, uh, superbly well. And Paul will be the first to say that. In fact, he's just told me to say that in the changing room because, because it's true. Um, as far as the defensive line out is concerned, James Ryan has really took control uh, of, of that and stepped up, and, uh, and that's what we want from the boys, uh, taking ownership and leading. Well, I suppose um, as far as uh, the English are concerned, they'll they'll um, uh, certainly reference the the, the their um, their the performance next week on, on on what happened in the last performance, won't they? And uh, I suppose um, you know for, for all the purists of, of rugby, I thought it was a, an outstanding game, and and um, uh, both teams were. Um, Deserved winners in the end, but I thought England played some outstanding rugby, and so, and, and, and so did France. So I suppose that's the that's the team that we've got coming over um, regarding regarding um, uh, their campaign so, uh, so far. I suppose uh, that, that that's for them to talk about, not us. Okay, guys, we're going to have to wrap it up there. Sorry, uh, sorry, Michael. We have to wrap it up there. The, the Scots are on their way in. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Dave, can I just check? One thing, Andy, was there have you any inju injury news? Um, had James Bryan was that an HIA or? Yeah, HIA, HIA, check Jerry. Yeah, HIA. That's concerning. That's concerning given it's only a six-day tournament. Well, we'll see. I don't, I don't know what the protocols has been like after after the game, but um, yeah, there was a check there. Any other injury concerns? There was a few walking wounded, like I said. Uh, I mean, honestly, well, sorry, to, to to be to be fair to be fair to Johnny, he was cramping. Uh, in in that last in that last five ten minutes as well to step up to the plate and kick the goal when you're in that uh, so, sort of state as well uh, um, 
makes the makes the three points even more special. As Gary Ringrose was hanging on there with a with an ankle, but um, they all seen in fine spirits anyway. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Thank you.